Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here for the Dinan score. I have today with me Horatio Shubekin. I'm doing the best I can with your last name, Horatio. Horatio is the founder of Evolutiva. Evolutiva is a company behind uh, a few modules like Dinan Backup, Dinan Global Storage, and among others. And I have known Horatio and Evolutiva since I was first introduced to DNN back in 2007 and we have been in touch you know here and there we exchanged some emails over the past seven to eight years so Horatio thank you very much for being here welcome thank you thank you perfect so uh first question and I have some you know some traditional questions that I like to ask so where are you where are you located well I'm in Uruguay which is a small country between Brazil and Argentina. It was. Um, it it should really it should it should it's a country that should have never existed. It was invented by the uh, by some English guy, Lord Ponsonby, uh, because they, they they needed something between Argentina and Brazil, so they they fight less. So they invented. Uruguay, there, and um, here we are. Perfect. Okay, we so should we, we should we really be part of uh, Rio Grande do Sul? I in, know. But hey, but there yeah. you are. Okay, great. So again, we have established that we need the Uruguay. So Uruguay is there now. Does Uruguay have many DNN users? I mean, do you have some sort of a community there, or is that? yourself i mean tell me a little bit about that i mean is there more users on the uruguay uh, well at some point i <clears throat> thought about creating some kind of user group or something i think there are more people here working with dnn but i never have the time and, and really the the, the spirit <laughs> To try to, to reach them and find them and, and do a group. So um, I think there are some other people, but for now I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, just just okay. So just, no user group. Okay, that's fine. So uh, let's talk a little bit about your history with DNN. How, when was when was the first time you got in touch with DNN and how how did that happen? I mean, tell tell a little bit about that story. Okay, I was um, just playing around in internet and discovered um, how it's called. Um, I buy spy the spy portal. No, well, it doesn't matter. A place where <clears throat> they have um, the different open source projects posted um, and I found two that really got my attention. One was Rainbow and the other was DNN. Uh, Rainbow was in C-sharp and was already um, multi-language ready uh, they got already some modules. You 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 could create modules for for Rainbow, and um, on the other side it was DNN. It was version two point something at at that point. But I don't know. It was a feeling or something. But I mean, uh, DNN was not multilingual. It was in Visual Basic, but I chose it. I, I don't know why it was. The what thing. what year was that? Sorry. What year was that? Ah, uh, two thousand four or five. And then and then you decided to start creating modules for DNN. No, first I was with other guys in Uruguay 
Um, we set up some portals based in DNN. And for the record, the first ever Spanish language pack was created by one of uh, these guys that was uh, partnering with, with me. It was the ES UI. Okay, okay, pack. yeah. It was the first one. Um, and well, we, we were setting up some portals based on GNN and <clears throat> there was some special needs. So yeah, I, I, I started creating some modules, that very casting modules. And also a, a first backup module. And then you started to offer that on the, the snow cover? Yeah, but that was later because some of the first things I did was remember at that time th there was no uh, provider scheme or anything, and I did a custom made uh, search engine based on using. Okay, using. It was great from my point of view, but it, it was a kind of not really integrated into into DNA. It was it. A, a service running in the server and the front end, yes, it was a, a DNA. And I thought this could be great for everyone. I should make this a, a, a module or something. And I had never had the time, I let it go. And then it was a, a hit, right? When some other guys did it. Which, I, which module was that one? I think it was from Spain, the, from Sabian, the one that DNN bought. When did you sell the first module on the snow covered? I mean, what was the first module you sold on snow covered? Well, it was the first version of the backup because I, 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 I thought this uh, search engine module will take time and I didn't know how to make it work really because at that point there was no uh, provider uh, camera to, to make it work. So I thought, yeah, I have this backup ready. It could be helpful for, for other people. So I published it in Snow Covered. Uh, don't ask me the year because I don't know. It's, it should have been 2005, about 2005, right? I guess. Something like that. Yeah. Got it, got it. So I just want to tell a little bit of my, about my personal story with Dean and Backup. Uh, <clears throat> I've used Dean and Backup again since 2007. And one of the use cases that I found most, most interesting for Dean and Backup was as a rescue tool. And what do I mean by rescue tool is that sometimes a client of mine, they had some problems with their hosting provider and the hosting didn't allow them to move away. They didn't huh. give their SQL backup, you know? Right. So what we could do is we could install DNN backup from Evotiva and we could have an entire backup of that hostage site now we have the backup and we can move it somewhere else. So I cannot tell you how many times I've have, I have rescued clients with being in backup by doing that. So is that a use case that you have ever had in mind? Sure, of course. One of the first things I thought is that uh, this should work without needing any uh, help from the ISP. So it, it should just work from the user point of view without needing uh, any external help. So yes, it, it was a, a use case. It was planned. Okay, perfect. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, because you have other modules on the ecosystem. Uh, my, my question to you is, uh, do you live out of DNN? I mean, DNN is the, is the, the only thing that you do uh, on your, you know, on your uh, professional 
um, work? Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. It not just. Yes, it is. So it only is. selling modules. So do you provide also additional services uh, on top of the the modules as well? Yes, some um, migration uh, upgrades um, and also some programming hours for for who need it. Uh, things like that. Got it. Got yeah. it. Okay. So, so your your most of your modules are what I would call utilities. They 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 don't have so much of a front end to a regular user that is browsing a website. So they are more of a utility uh, type of uh, of modules, which which again I love them. They are they are great. Uh, but you do have one that is uh, a recent one that's called the user files. Uh, that is a, a front-facing module that you know right. it's available publicly to okay. implementation. I mean, do you have any particular implementation that you like to point us that we could we could see that module in action? And again, if it doesn't come up right away on top of your head, that's fine. I can always post a link together with the video. But again, if you have uh, an interesting implementation, just uh, just well, tell us. Well, I, it was born out of frustration because I created a global storage because, um, well, I, I saw it that, that a great opportunity based on new APIs provided by DNN. And so uh, I, I created many providers uh, and, well, you know how it works. You, you can have files in Amazon S, S3 or, or in Azure or, or Dropbox or whatever, uh, like as the, if they were in, in, in the DNN site. But for that to, to really work, you need modules that use uh, in a proper way, the, the, the file system API of DNS. Yeah. So my question to you is, uh, do you have any implementation that you want to show us, you know, a, 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 like a client of yours bought the module and here is a nice implementation that you can see the module in action. I mean, is there any, any site that uses it that you, you have on top of your head? Yes or no? Because I know I know where 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 they are using it, but when I was uh, developing it, I I included some custom. Um, Got it. Request custom for requests. Got it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. So um, let me see here. What next? Okay. So talk a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about the future now. I mean, where where. What do you see Evotiva doing next? I mean, what 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 are you, your plans going forward with your Evotiva in terms of technology, in terms of new implementation? Because you have you know you have a few set of modules. Um, again, do you have any major plans for Evotiva? Any new modules coming up aside from the user files? <clears throat> I I. I have many ideas I would like to, to implement in modules. And also I, I have a lot of work to do in, in keep developing what is already uh, developed, right? Especially in, in user files, there are a lot of features that I, I, I really want to add to, to make it a lot more useful for more use cases, uh, more providers for global storage. Um, I also was toying with some kind of synchronized functionality between sites. So something similar to, to what uh, DNN Corp did with uh, the, their enterprise version, which uh, was able to 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 push changes from from a, a development a, a adaptation side to 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 production. Okay. 
Mm, but I was implementing that in different ways, so it was more useful, but it, it's very tricky. So I, I still want to do something based on that, but I think I need a lot of help or collaboration from third party vendors to, to, to create some kind of manifest file. So some knowledge is there, so the module will be able to know what to do with the, the each third party module. And based on the same idea, there is a, a very common request, which also I was um, experimenting, which is uh, taking instead of the complete DNN instance, just one portal and insert it in, in another uh, already running DNN site. Got it. This is very complex. Uh, and I did it, but with a lot of manual work and deep knowledge about each third party extension that was running in the portal. Um, it's not something that at, at this point I could uh, pack as a, a module and, and let people use it because they, they should know really a lot about the, 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 the inner of, of the site. Of the site. Right. It's the, 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 the VNN architecture it make, make, makes it really difficult to, to do to do this. So Go, going back now to, to DNN, is there anything that you'd like to, I mean, anything that you are expecting from DNN in terms of new initiatives, new, new features, new technologies that they are adopting? I mean, you, you must have heard about the MVC initiative that uh, is going on right now. I mean, any, anything, on that, uh, towards that, I mean, uh, are you looking forward to anything like that in the near future? I mean, uh, are you expecting something like that to come up in the near future for DNN? I think, I, I maybe I, sh I could be wrong because I really think honestly that I do not know much about mm, anything, but I think this move to MVC or, or whatever is in the same line that they moved from DV to, to C Sharp. It's, it's, they needed to do that because C Sharp is more popular and they could get more more people interested in DNN. But from the user point of view, there, there really is no change. Yeah. And I think it's the same from from this move. M MVC and our, the, the new uh, technologies that Microsoft... The, the new kids. Right. It, I think it, it's in the same line to get more outsiders interested in, in DNN because it's, it's more like uh, the new toys, right? Got it. Uh, uh, but there's some, maybe it, it could speed up a, 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 a little bit, at least DNN, because honestly, DNN 4 was very fast, and, and DNN 7 is not really. We are, we are coming to a conclusion here, uh, Horatio. Um, one question I have to you is, what do you recommend for someone new coming to DNN, getting to know DNN? How, what do you say that you know someone local there for uh, uh, on your on your on your on your city, you know, on Uruguay, uh, someone local tells you know what ratio I'd like to get to know DNN. What do you tell them? Ha! Huh. It's tricky. It's difficult. Why? They. they... Because 
currently the 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 knowledge about how to get into the nanit spread in many places the 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 DNN site itself is I think they, they will be changing it but they should start there if you have one advice one advice for a new guy one advice look at the forums and look at the the tutorials and the wiki it's yep wiki yep wiki in english it's yep okay. that's fine uh yeah i would say that got it got it okay so again we are coming to a conclusion here horatio um any closing words any any plugs that you want to make for for your own modules any you know maybe any promos that you want to give out to the audience to whoever stick around this this long so i mean i'll leave it up to you um yeah why not we will be offering a, a 30 percent discount for two weeks in the store with the promo code let's say evil 30 in numbers okay okay i'll i'll get that and i'll write that down and okay, perfect right. perfect so again horatio thank you very much for your time i mean i really appreciate the fact that you took the time you you told that you were shy but you were not that shy okay. so i mean that has worked out quite well i really appreciate it. and again i really hope that you stick around in the, in the din and marketplace we see so many vendors coming in and disappearing on people and you are there you know since 2006 2005 and again i just hope that you stick around uh with your you know with your nice modules with your very you know i again love the dn backup love the dn storage very good utilities anybody that uh is serious about backing up their websites they should definitely consider dn backup as a nice automated utility to back up your site the entire site to amazon to any place you want so again great i have that on my sites actually okay so again thank you very much for issue. Thank you.